Eight months after the unveiling of its next generation lineup of skid steers and compact track loaders, Bobcat is expanding the new R-Series lineup with the introduction of four new models. What's going on everyone? I'm Wayne Grayson and you're watching Equipment World where each week we bring you new videos on the latest in construction equipment, gear, trucks, and more. The new Bobcat 60 frame size vertical lift loaders are the new S64 and S66 skid steers and the T64 and T66 compact track loaders. These four new models join the S76 skid steer and the T76 compact track loader that Bobcat unveiled in September of 2019 and launched to the market in February of 2020. Now, there's a lot to cover on these new machines, so let's get into it. With the introduction of these four new models, we now have a much larger picture of this new Bobcat loader lineup. So let's break down how they stack up to one another in terms of specs. Now at the top of the lineup, you have the new S76 and T76. Now each of these new R-Series loaders is powered by a new 2.4 liter Bobcat turbocharged diesel with an inline design. Now on the S76 and the T76, that engine provides 74 horsepower. These loaders also have 2,900 pounds of rated operating capacity and a max lift height of 128.3 inches. Now of the four new models, the larger two, the S66 and T66, both get the same 74 horsepower rating that you're gonna find on the S76 and T76. In terms of operating capacity, the S66 delivers 2,400 pounds, while the T66 has 2,450 pounds of capacity. Lift height on both of these machines maxes out at 120 inches. Finally, we've got the two smallest models of the new R-Series lineup that Bobcat has debuted to this point, the S64 and T64. That new inline Bobcat engine delivers 68 horsepower on these loaders, and both will give you 2,300 pounds of rated operating capacity and 120 inches of lift height. Now, with all of the individual specs out of the way, let's talk about how all of these new R-Series loaders are better than the M and M2 series loaders that came before them. Now, first up is durability and strength. And one of the first things that you'll notice about these new machines is that Bobcat has gone with an updated look. And the company says that this wasn't just done for aesthetic purposes. Overall, Bobcat claims that these new loaders are tougher and more durable than the machines that came before them. Specifically, the new loader arms on these R-Series machines are built with cast steel. Bobcat says that during manufacturing, the corners of these new lift arms can now be formed without the need for additional fabricated plates. And those fabricated plates in the past would introduce weak points to the design, while also providing a little bit of an impediment to the operator's visibility to the ground. Now, in response to our first video on the introduction of these new R-Series loaders, and specifically in response to our bit about the new cast steel loader, arms, more than a few of you kind of voiced some skepticism in the cast steel manufacturing process and, and whether or not that was a good idea for Bobcat to undertake. But Bobcat claims that the new cast steel design is 20% stronger than what was found in the former fabricated steel design. The other benefit in this cast steel manufacturing process is that it has allowed Bobcat to kind of slim up these loader arms while also making them more resilient, putting more steel where it was needed for better durability and better reinforcement. Enforcement. The new design of these loader lift arms also changes the placement of the linkage. The linkage is no longer located below the arms themselves and is instead now on the back of the machine for a further increase in operator visibility. Bobcat has also updated the design of the tilt cylinders on these loaders, removing the hoses, tubes, and skid plates. Now that's gonna give you better visibility to your bucket and other work tools. But really the most practical improvement that these new loaders benefit from in the overhaul of their lift arm design is more lift capacity through throughout the loader's range of motion, including at full reach. Bobcat also notes that all of the loaders in the R-Series have seen increases in lift height for easier dumping into high-sided dump trucks and hoppers. Now, alongside these new loaders, Bobcat has also introduced a new heavy-duty bucket with rollback. These buckets feature a waffle skid underneath for increased rigidity, and bolt-on cutting edges are standard for better soil shaping. Another big change in the design of the compact track loader models in the new R-Series is to a more stable five-link torsion suspension. That torsion suspension has now completely replaced the roller suspension that you found on past models. And the big differences for operators is that the torsion suspension reduces stress and vibration, making operation more comfortable. Bobcat says it has also managed to get two more inches of these tracks on the ground. Earlier, we mentioned that new inline 2.4 liter engine that Bobcat is using on these new loaders. And while that new engine design has some fuel improvements like a new vertical fuel tank and increased 
increase fuel efficiency. Really the big change that's going to have more of an impact on performance with these new machines is the new cooling system. Bobcat says its customers are calling on skid steers and compact track loaders for increasingly larger and more difficult jobs. And because of that, Bobcat has implemented a cooling system on these new R-series machines that is 50% larger than what was found on the M2 series. In addition to moving this new cooling package further away from the cab to reduce noise levels, the, the new cooling package also has a different cooling pattern. Instead of drawing air from the top of the package and blowing it out the sides, this new cooling package design does a better job of surrounding the engine with cooler air by pulling air from the rear of the engine and blowing it out the top. You'll also be able to spec out this cooling package with an optional reversing fan. Now we just mentioned the reduced noise levels inside the cab thanks to the relocation of the new cooling package, but that is far from the only improvement that operators are gonna find once they hop inside of one of these new R-Series machines. Now another big reason that these cabs on the R-Series machines are so much quieter than what was found on the M2 series is that Bobcat is now using a one-piece sealed and pressurized design. Bobcat says this new cab design does a better job of isolating the operator from engine and hydraulic noise, but it also increases the efficiency of the machine's heating and air conditioning. And because it's a one-piece design, whenever it comes time to service or make repairs to these R-Series machines, the whole cab rotates out of the way for easier service access. This new cab is also larger than what was found on the M and M2 Series machines, and you'll also find keyless start as a standard feature, a heated air ride seat, a Bluetooth audio system, a five inch standard display, or the new optional seven inch Bobcat touch display. Now we've already talked about some of the ways that Bobcat has increased visibility in this new cab with just some of the manufacturing processes that they've changed. But if you need increased visibility to the tracks or wheels in these new machines, then Bobcat is now offering a clear sided cab. Now basically this new clear side cab option removes the steel mesh screens from the side windows of the machine. And when you order this clear side cab option, Bobcat throws in automatic climate control. Now, obviously the first thing that comes to mind whenever we're talking about removing that steel mesh from the side of the cab is uh, what about the safety? I mean, that, that steel mesh is there for a reason by default. However, Bobcat says that it has included a 4,000 PSI polycarbonate reinforced glass on these windows whenever you equip it with the clear side option. So you don't need to worry about safety and risk from outside impacts. In terms of controls, the loaders feature Bobcat's latest selectable joystick control, and these feature drive response mode, speed management, management, steering drift compensation, and horsepower management. This also means that all of the new R-Series loaders are compatible with Bobcat's new Max Control remote control system that allows you to actually drive these machines from your iPhone or iPad. And while steering is still manual on these machines, Bobcat has included electric pedals, which has allowed it to introduce dual bucket positioning. Now this feature automatically keeps a load at a consistent angle when you're raising and lowering throughout the lift cycle. And because this feature keeps that bucket level throughout the cycle, it allows experienced operators to work a little bit faster without having to worry about spilling. And it makes operation easier for new operators. Now we've talked about line of sight visibility, but let's talk about nighttime visibility. Atop the cabs of these new our series machines is a new LED lighting system. And the design of these new lights actually allows the light to wrap around the corners of the machine for better visibility at night. And with the optional side lights on these machines, Bobcat says they can provide 180 degrees of nighttime visibility. And finally, in addition to that rotating one piece cab design, Bobcat has made a few more improvements for easier maintenance on these machines. And those include a protected battery with remote jump start, a new and larger fuel filter for better system protection and longer filter life and adjustment free engine belts. So that is going to wrap it up for us here on this update to the R series lineup of skid steers and compact track loaders from Bobcat, specifically the four new models, the S64 and S66 skid steers and the T64 and T66 compact track loaders. But as always, we wanna know your thoughts. Let us know what you think of this new R series lineup in the comments below. And if you like this video or found the information in it useful in any kind of way, please do us a favor and hit that like button below. It really does help our channel out. And if you want more videos on the latest in construction equipment, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you're getting up to the minute alerts whenever we drop a new video. Thank you guys so much again for watching and we will see you next time.